Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video okay this is um, airing 10 30 Eastern Standard Time p.m. with a live chat I do this every single night I upload two videos every single day let me turn another light on here um, I channeled a song by John Lennon and it's called woman and I feel that somebody made immature mistakes just because of when I listen to the song I feel like somebody loves somebody very much and they made some immature mistakes and I feel that um, it wasn't because they didn't love the other person it's because they were learning you know they made mistakes because they they were learning they they just probably made a lot of mistakes not just with you or vice versa and I do feel that they feel it was destined to meet you or to be with you. And this could even be someone you're with, you know, that maybe you want to leave. You know, I don't know what's even going to come out here yet. But I do feel like um, someone loves you or you love somebody very much. Regardless of whatever mistakes were made, it seems like they were made. Because it does talk about the child and them. It does talk about, you know it was written in the stars and so I do feel like somebody doesn't want you to blame them or vice versa um, just knowing that everything happened as it was supposed to and it says and I'll you know I'll love you always and forever and I do feel that this is someone that you have spent other lifetimes with and that will spend future lifetimes with so anyways I want to thank each and every one of you for being here okay um, I want you to know that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I value you and the divine values you and I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I'm creating this video on 11-5-2024, uh, November 5th, 2024, election day where I'm at. So I don't really expect a whole lot of people to be probably tuned in <laughs> to my video. So I'm not going to worry about uh, making it long I'm just gonna do my regular video and um, for those who like longer videos know that I am going to be streaming um, probably live starting in February I have to get my own schedule together I I don't even think my own schedule could handle an hour reading right now so uh, just keeping it real here and I think everyone's sweet spot is you know 30 to 40 minutes because um, of schedules and stuff like that so let's get into today's reading and see what's going to come out we have the thinker and I mean this is perfect to what I just said you know we have 44 you could be seeing fours a lot four 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 and the bottom is imagine isn't that another song John Lennon saying imagine and we have two so someone is really thinking about you I feel like somebody um feels like they've made some immature mistakes and you know if you're cross watching for an Aquarius it can go both ways I feel like this is a fundamental life lesson and I feel like this is a life lesson that everybody will learn at some in some lifetime you know um, it reminds me of the now I'll give an analogy of my own life because I can't give examples of your life I don't know what you've gone through but my first husband was much older than me he knew a lot he was very seasoned and experienced in life and when I came along into his life I was sort of green behind the ears he sort of taught me a lot of things about life I made mistakes with him and then my second husband was nearly 10 years younger more green behind the ears than me and I sort of showed him things taught him things we're all teaching and learning on some level depends where we're at in life and some of us make mistakes and it's not because we hate the person it's because we we are gen we are genuinely learning and growing as souls all right but i do feel someone is regretful for immature mistakes and i do feel somebody has genuine love and it's like saying i never meant to hurt you you know i never meant for that on another note how many people think that john lennon and yoko ono were twin flames that's something right there at a time when everything was going on that was some great music that came out to help promote love and not war
I'm doing a nine card spread in case uh, you're wondering what is she doing this feels very natural to me right now I really feel like I really appreciate all of you who tune in to me, but I just feel like a lot of people are probably tuned in to um, the U.S. elections when this airs. And we'll have another one, Eight of Worlds in the reverse. Okay. We have the balance card in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Um, I will pull... A bonus card and then I will do a little bit of an extended at the end so for those of you who just like your normal tarot reading I'm going to be doing that right now at the end I will do a little bit of an extended for those who appreciate or I should say appreciate you guys appreciate me scratch that for those who just like it a little bit longer <laughs> Two of Cups in Reverse. Clarified by the Two of Cups in Reverse. My gosh, man. Two different decks. That's how you know the energy is also on point. You have the same card clarifying the other card. It really feels like it's somebody you're in separation from. And it could easily, just because the song is called Woman, it could easily be someone who feels this way about a man. It's just a person. Somebody loves somebody very much. And somebody never meant to hurt them and somebody could have made some immature mistakes but no matter what there will always be love here maybe the physical connection is not there maybe the physical connection has been severed but the the love connection that will never be severed ever love will never be severed ever 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 if that's one thing that even John Lennon brought to us with with his music tell me about the nine of wands the nine of wands is nines talk about things being almost there it also talks about trying new things repetitive things but there's a lot that's going on with the nine of wands and it's a card that says integrity and I feel like somebody I feel like whoever is in this energy And you don't got to be a tarot reader to interpret that. Our first language is our eyes, right? That's we have hieroglyphics and the Egyptian walls. And we, we read with pictures first. I mean, that is our, our primal instinct to make something out of what we see. And this person would have definitely acted differently they acted childish or immature whoever this is and I know you know it can go both ways it could be somebody who did this um, with Aquarius it could be someone that Aquarius did this too like I said this is a fundamental life lesson and it would be great if life came with a handbook, but it simply doesn't. We learn. We learn through pain. And if anything, you guys, this person has learned that they would have done things differently. They wouldn't have done what they did to cause pain. Isn't That's exactly why this all happened to begin with, you see. We don't realize that we won't do things to cause pain to others until we actually cause pain to others, right? We have to feel it. This person's feeling it. At the time they did it, they probably weren't. This is somebody in their emotions. We have the Man of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces does not have to be that sign. Cups represent emotion. And this person is very much in their emotions about how they behaved. Yes. There's a lot that came out here, so I don't know if this is yeah we got the somebody it somebody's even changed because of this like they won't do this either anymore to anyone I feel we have a lot of cards but anyway this pain and I knew that this person is experiencing a lot of pain this person is thinking 
this person's growing and this person is learning. And you're a part of it. You and this person are part of this lesson. But love, the love is not gone. It doesn't mean that there will be a physical union or reunion. But in the soul, in the love space where it really counts, you both helped each other in some way. And I feel they're indebted to you. We have the Strength card, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Four of Cups, reverse. That's Somebody may want to come forward and say it because the Four of Cups in reverse for me is someone who wants to start over, wants to get out of the energy of this, sitting here, feeling pain over it, and let me do something about the damn thing already. I don't have to sit here in this. I could try to make amends. I can at least say something. And I feel like somebody does want to express Wow, it gave me a card for the rest of the cards. Thank you, Spirit. So, the Strength card, Leo Energy, Seven of Pentacles, Reverse. It didn't work out. In Divine Timing, it all works out. It's a card of time. It's a card of the harvest, but it's in reverse. It's a card of divine timing because when you plant the seed you have to wait for it to grow but you see in the upright it didn't grow very much or it's in the process but it's like okay maybe it didn't work out maybe the seed didn't flourish between you two but it was written in the stars okay it was written in the stars and this is a love that is associated with pain. It would have been pain on your side, and it is now pain on their side. Because there's recognition. Now we have the Four of Cups reversed, but it's clarified by the Page of Pentacles reverse. I want to come forward, but what would I say? How would I explain myself? How would I get my emotions, you know, how do I express what I'm feeling in words? And that's another important point to bring up because I know all of you watching can relate to feeling something and having a problem expressing it. I mean, my readings, I always have a problem expressing stuff. You guys know that. I don't need a Mercury retrograde to twist my tongue all up there. And it's like that. It's like, how do I put this into words? Well, that song by John Lennon is a good way you can go listen to it because I probably, that, pro that person probably won't be able to put it as eloquently as that. And here we have the Child of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles. You know, this is like, I want to apologize. I want to apologize for being absent. I want to apologize for breadcrumbing. I want to apologize for not being equally giving as you were to me. I want to apologize that I couldn't give you what you gave me. I couldn't do for you what you did for me. I couldn't honor you the way you honored me. I didn't recognize you the way you recognized me. And I'm hearing that part in the song about something about the true meaning of success or something. And I don't know what's around it. But maybe this person didn't value relationships. We all have a way of valuing things in our life. Some people value it with a literal number by the things and the accumulation that they have. Some people value you because of you. You're very special. You're very dear to me. So I feel like this person didn't realize um, value, especially with the Six of Pentacles here and the meaning of success coming into my mind. I feel like someone 
valued other things more than a true true love connection true love con connection unconditional love connection now somebody values that somebody recognizes that but see the damage is kind of done the, the pain has been caused but without that pain being caused the effect would not have been this person learning the lesson see the chariot in reverse in the world and the upright I want to clarify that the chariot in reverse can be someone who it, it could be someone who's a cancer but it could also be somebody who is on the wrong path they weren't on the right path all right the chariot reverse can be reckless and we have the world representing that and that is fixed energy of aquarius leo scorpio and taurus and it could be someone who is like I really want to tell you this because this whole row is about I want to express myself the whole top reading I'm in my thoughts and feelings up here I want to communicate my thoughts and feelings but I just don't know how we're getting down to here it's possibly how things have stopped and they'll never pick back up in the physical life not in this one possibly because the world is fixed but it's also the world it's the world wide web it's traveling maybe this person can't come to you because we have travel in the reverse travel in the upright or can they get out of their head whatever's holding them back and can they come forward tell me about the chariot give me another card for the chariot in the world because of this seven of swords okay so this is the pain that they caused the seven of swords this was the sabotage they caused and that also is another reason that makes it hard for them to come forward and I feel like and I channel this a lot so I feel like you've moved on you know there's a flame here in a cup and you're leaving it or you left it so this is a close connection you have a close connection with this person but you had to move on all right you had to move on you had to head into another direction that brought you happiness you see here is the Sun here's moving toward the Sun but I do feel like someone is literally talking to God or someone is literally reaching out because I feel like someone is experiencing some strong pain and emotions and they probably having a hard time dealing with it because now that someone is in the state of awareness more conscious now it's more painful it's like you know it's like um, now that the blinders are off I can see the value I can see my mistakes and now they they they're they don't sit well with me it's hard for me to live every day knowing that I've done this or that I've created this pain and I just want to express myself how I never meant to do this but I can't and I can't and one of those reasons is because I know I sabotage this I know I did what I did man of cups is up here man of cups is down here when it comes to the ten of wands this person is heavily heavily burdened by their emotions heavily burdened by their emotions and they're not they're not making a move they're just thinking and the biggest part of them not making a move is because they know they sabotaged the connection they know they did something here and it's so hard now the ending of this right here has a lot to do with let me put this here the ending of this has a lot to to do with the high priestess in reverse which is Virgo Pi Pisces energy it's also whatever I've been holding in I'm going to now let it out 
but it's clarifying the eight of worlds in reverse. And that eight of worlds talks about focus or lack of or paying attention to detail. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have magician again. Well, it is ruled by Mercury, which it rules communication, but it's actual sign of Gemini Virgo. This is a person who's not making a move, but wants to come back and heal things. So that's the whole thing. Will they come back and heal things they want to? But have they? They haven't. Tell me about the High Priestess in Reverse. Wow. That was a crazy flip. Did you see it? It went this way, then this way. It, it went from someone being stuck in their thoughts. And it landed on the Four of Cups Reverse. Someone stuck in their thoughts about what to say, how to reconnect to the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Somebody will get out of their mind. This is going from this to reverse, getting out of the mind. This person is really stuck in their mind and they're playing over. I heard loop, 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 looping over an event. They will come forward as of this reading, okay? It's showing yes, because I feel their desire is too strong. I feel their pain is very strong. And their desire to change this because they literally cut happiness out of their life. But I feel like they're waiting for the right time, the will of fortune. Maybe they're waiting till they, they feel like it'd be the best time to come forward. Tell me about the Eight of Worlds in reverse. Why is that in the reverse? Maybe it happens at a time you're not focused on them. Four of Wands. I feel like that's, yeah. Okay. A lot came out for that. So, we have the 1111 card that came out first. And if you see, you have two flames here and two flames there. It's 1111. It's a very close connection. Maybe it happens at a time when you're just not focused on them. And I've channeled that in other readings. But again, I'm telling you, this person might have to release something. All right. This person might just stop fighting the fact as well. I feel like this person, because this talks about resistance, okay, protection. And we have the Ten of Cups. But I feel like someone has been fighting the connection. But the connection is too strong. This is like family. Even if you're related or not related, you feel like family either way. We all know that there are people in this world we have no relation to. But we just feel such a strong connection. And that's this. So whether you're related or not, it's, it's strongly indicating like... I can't let this person go. This I know this person is my family, even if they're just my soul family. And this person is thinking about the loss, and they're not doing very well. But the thing is, they're going to finally get out of their head, and they're going to figure out what to say. They're going to stop being sad and regretful, which is strongly what they're in. A lot of sadness and regret. And they're going to... Start focusing on what to say to make things right. And then I feel when they figure out what to say, that's when you're going to see them. Because, like, what are they going to do? Just, <laughs> what are they going to say? And that's where they're at with this. What am I going to say when I see them? Or if I message them, what am I going to say? Because the last time when you guys spoke or your last interaction, or there's something with the Seven of Swords here. It's like, how do I grow something from that? How do I say something from that? How do I get beyond that? But they do. You help them learn this. Or vice versa. Let's pull an oracle card here. Oh, a two came out. I told you I felt like this person was praying. 
I don't know where this sun card, that came out in the split, but I felt like this person was praying, and we have, your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. I do feel, I feel that whoever is in this sad energy, I do feel like this person is praying. I feel like this person is asking for guidance because they can't let go of something and they've learned a big lesson. They made a big mistake. And I feel like this is sort of you. I feel like you've got your sights set on a new horizon. And I kept seeing that with the, when I saw the sun card and I saw the eight of cups, remember the eight of cups was looking toward the sun. I feel like this is you Focus on new goals and new things. And then I feel like this person is praying for you. And it says, deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. I just think this means process before. It's like looking at the facts, putting your mind in it, and say, you know what, I'm just going to move forward because hell with it. This person ain't here. You know, that's, that's a way to look at it, but that's also the ego, the mind saying, you know, screw them. We've all been there. But this is saying, I feel, process your feelings and emotions because when we're just strong and we move forward by force of our personality, it's like putting a band-aid on it, but not really healing the wound. It still leaves a scar. And I feel that saying, yes, it's fine to move on, but don't move on just because they did what they did move on after fully processing it and i think it's just reminding us that i think a lot of you already have processed it but there may be some people who are just mad and like man screw this joker i'm out but there are deeper insights at hand pay attention to your feelings what are your feelings telling you you know um so anyways, that's the tarot reading. If anybody wants me to clarify things more clearly, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to pull from my Oracle decks. But when I did this last night, I noticed that still the same messages that came out in the reading came out. So really, it didn't prove to have any extra details. But just because we're under 30 minutes right now, I'll pull from three oracle decks, so this part will be the extended, so if you wanted to see an extended, this is the extended, but I've actually done my whole reading, so you don't have to stick around. This is for those who like a little extra, extra longer. This is your little extra longer. Give me some cards from this. I'm actually going to pull from all of the oracle decks at once, and then I will clarify with the tarot. One already came out true colors there's a little bonus card sitting down there <laughs> that might be what you don't see all right and love oracle None of these Oracle decks were designed to be taken in reverse. So I don't take them in reverse. I just, because of the way I shuffle them, they come out all kind of ways. All right. <laughs> I told you. You know, these, I know that you guys like these little, some of you like these little extra extended, but I can already tell you everything that is here already came out in this tarot reading. So just letting you know that. Somebody wants to come back in. We've already channeled that with the tarot reading. All right. We have Reconciliation unfinished business you can't make this stuff up man you saw me shuffle the cards spirit is just basically saying the same thing over and over again pregnancy and quit your job comes out some of you may have to all right some of you may you know anything involved with pregnancy we will pull a tarot card it says don't settle for temporary happiness love hate could be with this person that hurt you two colors i'm not this somebody might have some issues in the um sexual department and sweet talk 
I'm just going to say that because that, the card that came out is from the Twisted Oracle and it actually says STD, but I found more often than not that means somebody could have a problem in the area of, um, I'm just saying more often than not it doesn't come out that, all right, someone could have an issue that's related to that or someone could have a scare with that. So anyways, reconciliation. It's usually not what that says. But it could be. We have reconciliation. Yes, somebody definitely wants to come forward and apologize. The Page of Cups reverse the Ace of Swords. They're clear about this. They just don't know what to say. Okay, that came out in the tarot reading. Someone's in their emotions and they want to reconcile. They want to join again. But again, they are also afraid of you being angry at them. So much time has gone by. They breadcrumbed you, you know, and it looks like you are, you know, you're in an energy of going forward and standing your ground, going forward um, in a new direction. Tell me about unfinished business. Someone, and this came out. Remember the Seven of Wands came out. It's here again. Somebody who fought this connection reappears. And it does look like it could be somebody who has Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart. But it doesn't have to be. Somebody leaves that direction. I told you. Somebody went in a reckless direction. Well, that's the direction they're leaving. They were in a karmic direction, which is mean they had to learn a tough lesson. Okay. So they're picking a new direction. The direction is to, to come back and to, to resurface here. Because it bothers them and they want to say what's on their heart. Tell me about don't settle for temporary happiness. Nothing. Somebody doesn't. There's something doesn't want to talk here. All right. The lovers in reverse. So, you know, like I said, when it, at the end when it says process your emotions here. I feel strongly don't just go out and be with someone to be with someone okay don't just make a choice hastily either just because maybe of loneliness or this or that uh, make sure that they're the right choice okay very important make sure they're right fit for you tell me about quit your job it's not good for you some of you might be experiencing too much stress at your job and manipulation, lying. Do something you love, Ace of Cups, King of Swords is reversed, that is Aquarius. So it's saying, quit your job. It's not good for you. If your job ain't good for you, you're going to know it. You're not going to wake up and go to work and be happy. You're not going to be looking forward to your day at work. You're going to be like, ah, oh, another day, another dollar, or whatever form of currency you use. I'm in the U.S. Tell me about pregnancy. But it's strongly saying you should be aligned with what you love. And you'll be supported. You know, I love tarot. And tarot is what really supports me. I can't even get a job. I hold a lot of government license for things that I can do. I can't get a job and none of them tried. I can't get a job and not, not a damn one of them. This is what seems to support me. This is where God wants me right now. We have pregnancy, five of swords, reverse. Three of Cups reverse. Okay. The Emperor. Okay. So be careful about getting pregnant. Um, this for this is for anyone uh, one night stand or be careful about you know thinking that you're it's temporary happiness because I feel this is linked here because I'm seeing that there could be somebody that you could come together with. This is specific. This ain't for everybody. This is specific. Be careful about any one night stands or thinking that this could be the one and it's not. Because, um, you know, you could find yourself single after you're no longer pregnant or you could find yourself single before the pregnancy is over. And I don't like to be the bearer of that news. But if you, you'll know, because this person would be toxic, all right? This person would be toxic and this person could be in your life and when they find out, they just take off because they don't want no part of it. All right, let's clarify. Sweet talk. 
maybe that's what this this has to do pregnancy sweet talk and and, and std um and then we have true colors we have baby hands here so child hands maybe it looks like reminds me of tell me about sweet talk yeah just be careful we got the six of wands reverse you know there might be a soothsayer a sweet talker a silver tongue devil who says what they want to get what they want somebody could unexpectedly have get pregnant or have a pregnancy scare but it's just strongly showing that you be careful because this person could end up breadcrumbing you because this person is just not clear on what they want and we have the seven of swords and i have the seven of cups reverse this person could just sit around and just you know it, it could be a fantasy in other words that it doesn't come true it's really saying release that person if somebody is a sweet talker trying to just get into your pants okay it doesn't look like it's going to work out tell me about i don't even like this card std move on and it landed on pregnancy just be careful that's specific tell me about true colors this little part someone needs to hear but it's not for the majority of you yeah true colors you know three of wands there is somebody who is fitting this energy that they could say all the right things but then they will just hold back withdraw ghost um that's what the future looks like with this person if you and, and there's you might think that they're the one because they're saying all the right things it's very important to know this is the main key they're very, they're a sweet talker they're a soothsayer they are a silver tongue devil and love hate because if you and it's saying you know for, for whoever this is specifically for if you have a child with them you could end up in some sort of love hate relationship you could end up arguing um apart disputes battles and things like this with this person it's not a good father it's not a good husband is what it looks like or a good emperor a good provider a good and we're talking about not to provide for you but to provide as being the person they're supposed to be as that role so i'm not talking about money i'm talking about they just wouldn't be a good suit for you they wouldn't be a good husband and we have the king of wands reverse and judgment so be very careful because it looks like somebody could be strongly physically attracted to someone think they're the right one want them to be the right one could have a passion at night and you could both end up with a gift that keeps on giving it could be an std it could be a child but it will end up being problems in the future that's of course somebody Everything else already came out in the tarot reading. Somebody wants to reconcile. Your job isn't good for you. You're going to know it if you don't wake up wanting to go to it every day. Don't settle for temporary happiness. All right, guys. I love you. And namaste, my friends.